bit with direction towards this note. Would be chords in G minor. Let's try it. And good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, no, no, no. Two. Two and five, five. Good. Good. I would 
would like to work with you on Wild Rider. I've listened to your recording. Your mom sent me your recording from home and you are already playing it so much better. But first of all, your left hand is still a little bit lazy when you play here. It's not sharp enough. E major. forgot but let's see if you remember what is sferzanda sferzanda and what does it mean s s is the s f mm -hmm. that's s f is, is is the full word is sforzando 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 mm -hmm. does it mean play really really loud or what do you think it is? It's accent. It's loudest. an accent, but... The accent, I think it's the loudest accent. No, sweetie, it's not. For example, if it was very quiet piece like that, it would be the quiet accent. If it was really loud piece, it would be the loud accent. So it actually depends on what dynamics the whole thing is. Yeah. So if it's mezzo for then going crescendo, it has to be an accent, but not super harsh. Because when you played it, it sounds like that. But we, we want to just show it, but not harsh. There is no hardest accent. It could be a very loud dynamic, as in, like for as in, in the same dynamic. Uh, if, is this the loudest? No, sweetie. No, there are several types of accents, uh, and you you've seen some of them. Like this is an accent, yes. right? And the one you draw is this, yes, right? I just did this it. means sharp accent. Okay very sharp, right? Sforzanda is, uh, how to say, sudden accent, but not too loud accent, right? No, no, it's not piano, it's mezzo forte. a little bit your fingers will be like that
have even more room for improvement because you improved so much i thought i would record it and finish but i think we can improve it even more so i'd like us to continue working a little bit more on that it's, it's a fun piece <laughs> You want me to play very fast? And <laughs> try your fastest. The fast? Try my fastest? Yes. Oh my goodness! Yes. I had to practice it. so you can play it without tension. Very close. Strong. kind of like dancing we are playing the piano we're not dancing the piano right <laughs> actually on the video when i check it no don't pick up the bad things from the videos okay so it's kind of uh let's imagine an old man poor hungry has no money and he's playing his little street organ. What is street organ? Street organ, it's kind of like a little mechanism where uh, the sounds installed. It's, it's very popular in old France. Let me find a video for you so you can imagine. But this is a sad song, right? But That's it's kind of like a little, uh, he he talks he sings about him being poor and maybe he doesn't have anywhere to live so he's kind of maybe it's a rainy day so when you play like that it doesn't sound like that like or this part what is this 
Sound like? What do you mean? How? What, what, what is this story? What is the story about this? This measures. The story? Two. What is the story about it? These two measures. These two measures. I think he gets very upset and tired, and he stops playing the song and stops singing. And then, then what? Oh, uh -huh. it's it's up to your imagination. You can imagine. You don't have to think with my story. And you can then he wakes up and there's a green. And what? And there's a green. Green? I said green. What's that? When we sleep as green. Oh, dream. Um, it could be. It could be a dream, but it could be a real thing, yes. right? Yeah. Sometimes. Like centuries ago, some people lived very poor and they had to make some little money with playing on the streets with this street organ. So let's try to play. I liked how you played in I general. I played violin and had 30 and some money. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, another thing, Jerry, when you get to this part, you're playing still a little bit uneven. Right here, you did correctly. You lifted and you played separately, right? But then you hold. This is the only note to play. But here, you need to hold both of them. Why is it number two finger? Because we need to change our hands placement to play. I think now it's number This is different. This is different. Do we play this slur or not? It's not a slur, honey. It's a tie. Is this? Do we play this tie? No, we just hold it. Up to here, and then we change. Do we hold here? This, there's no, there's no slur here. So you it? lift. Yes, if the slur ends, you disconnect. Maybe we'll like this. try playing now. Yes. The similar as this. Yes. Did you figure everything out? <laughs> I didn't figure this thing out. I'll help. Let's play and I'll help you, okay? Because when you don't try and just talk, it's really hard to explain. Let's play and we'll work on it while playing. right here and make sure you're holding both notes. B flat and G together. Too much. Move. 
longer spoke and the sound will be very uneven. We want to sound very evenly. I don't know what kind of money and how much they were worth 100 years ago or 200 years ago. So let's just play. I, I just said these words because they fit really well the rhythm. I need some money, please. Oh, please. I'm not thinking about myself, right? <laughs> Even though everyone needs money, oh, right? Oh, please. It sounds like begging. Oh, Okay, let's try from here, from this G. Oh, I bet you. You are talking so much today, Jerry. You have not done all the talking in school yet? G? Jerry's even talk. I haven't even talked, so <laughs> you are compensating here, right? No. And this is G. G5, my good. What we and now voids. I need some money, please. Oh, please. No. Oh, please. Yes. Good. Continue. Even sadder. Nobody gave him money, so it is even more sad. This is the same as this, so we just need to keep it down. Let's try from here. Hold, hold, no, where's your B flat? It's gone. Thank you. 
チャレンジもまずやってみますよ。Change to five, four, two, like that. But what they ask you to do like this, and then move to five, and then two, four, five. But I think it's a little bit too complex. So let's do this, and then we'll just go five. You forget about B flat. It sounds no. It it should actually sound very very tragic. It Different endings, it's okay. But when we perform this piece, we need to play it the way composer will. Okay? okay? Because our goal as a performer, remember what it is? To convey the message from the composer. Okay? Yes? If composer wanted it to be B flat, G minor, we have to play G minor. You already tried G major, it doesn't sound logical. So, we are gonna go back to G minor. Sometimes you just change this single number and or this is right, not right or... Finger number is mm -hmm. not, uh, you know, finger numbers depends on uh, how convenient it is to, to play. It, it's not changing composer's message. Okay. Okay? The notes do. But sometimes editors, they is make it, mistakes, uh, so we have to correct. As you say, the finger numbers, sometimes they are mistake. No, for some people, they might be more comfortable than for others because all of our hands are different. They have different sizes, different flexibility, different shape of and length of fingers, mm -hmm. and I can't do what you can, so... Yeah. Because my hand is smaller than yours. No, it's not because of that. It's just your special ability to bend fingers like that. But please don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Actually, many times I do like that. Okay. Hold long notes. So show me where you're supposed to hold and listen to the long notes together. Here. Yes, but when we have two voices at the same time in the room, here, in one hand. Oh. 
tell you the story, my story, but you can make up your own story. And you can tell me if you want. No, two. This is two. Child and minor child, 
the first interval, the first third, consists in major of four half steps and in minor of three half steps. That's the difference. For example, let's try to play with you D major triad. D major. D. Yes. So let's count how many half steps are here. One. One. No, we are counting notes. We need to count half steps. So cool how we can count with half steps. Do you know how many half steps are in the octave? One? No, 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 we don't count now. Two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Each octave has 12 half steps, even though there are only 8 notes, right? But it has 12 half steps. Which is my game. Yes, okay, I think we talk enough. <laughs> All right. Let's play number 7. Right hand or two hands? Two hands. Two. has been twice more so your fingers feel more comfortable. Yeah. 
Yes. More confident. If you go far, it's more comfortable. I think most of the time it has logic. Okay? Okay, because I think this has to be frequency. No, sweetie, if you relax your fingers and just distribute them between these two instead of moving them this way. You don't need to move them this way. another tune for you. I, I want you to learn this better, okay? So numbers one through seven. Actually, I know this one hand. You already tried it? Yes. Can you show me? Can you try for me? to hear the reason better because when we say rhymes rhymes already have a reason inside because when you play it first time you play it we all come here so it doesn't sound right but if you say we all come here you'll hear that you need to play come here let's try left here and see okay. if you can do left here so just try. No, 
or look at it. Yes, but you don't want to jump because right hand has all got them. So it will sound a little bit right hand. Then you need to play two of them. Yes. Now there's the fingers. And also, right here in this group, the fingers are a little bit different because of jump of the lead going up. It's not going like that, but it goes. Can you check it with Yeah, that's exactly what I asked you not to do. <laughs> Look, four and two. No, four and two. Separately, of course. 